Just wanted to come at you real quick and uh, share a word of encouragement to those of you that are married. And if you're single, this is a great information for you to take note, understanding that the best, the best time to prepare for marriage is not while you're in it, but while you're single waiting to be found. The Bible declared to us that he that findeth a wife find it a good thing and have obtained favor from the Lord. So the first key point that I want to bring to you is that number one, the Bible says he that findeth a wife, which means that a man must be the one pursuing the woman as a love interest. The reality is a boy does not go looking for a wife. A man goes looking for a wife. And so you have to know that a man is one that understand purpose, one that is in position, one that is capable and equipped and have made proper preparation before the pursuit, which means that he has a hut to live in. You know, he has two nickel to rub together. He is in position and he is qualified to take care of his mate. And so if a man is trying to pursue you and he's not working, he doesn't understand purpose. He don't has no dream, no aspiration, no vision. Then he is not a man in pursuit. He is a man still looking, or a male for that matter, trying to figure out who he is. But the Bible declare that whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and of obtained favor from the Lord. So number two point I want to bring to you is that a man goes looking for a wife, not a girlfriend. Which means that a woman is a wife in waiting. God called you a wife long before you get the ring. So the ring does not make you a wife. Oh, y'all ain't say nothing. Let me help you here. The ring does not make you a wife. You are already a wife material before you're found. And so we are, we are looking at this from the wrong perspective as it pertains to marriage and pertains to relationship. Proper preparation has to be made before you say yes to that man. And he has to be in position to take care of his wife. Oh, mighty God. The third point I want to bring to you is, as God gave the man assignment before he gave him a woman. In other words, the wife is the helpmate. And if the man is not in position with his goals, his dreams, and his vision, then what is she going to help him with? The fourth point I want to bring to your attention, and I'm done. That the man has to understand that he has a responsibility to lead. That's why a man is not born, a man is developed. The Bible says, amen, that when I was a child, I spoke as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child. But when I become a man, I put away childish things. The, the, the challenges that we are faced with in our culture and in our society today is that there is not a lot of qualified men, but there is a lot of male pretending to be a man. There's a lot of women that are pretending to be wife material, but they were not taught, they were not groomed, they were not fashioned, they were not nurtured, they were not mentored into being the woman or the lady that God have called them to be before you decide to become a wife. And so, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to come on here with you and just challenge your heart, your mind for this season that it's time to do this and get it right. You are a wife in waiting. You are a male that have already fashioned and developed into a man. Now go pursue your love interest. May God bless you. Ain't it great? Catch you later.